Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. Today we are building a massive medieval castle. I started this maybe like three weeks ago. So that's a pretty long time for me to build something. I think especially at this scale because it does turn out to be quite big. But let's get straight into it. I started with the wireframing because with a build like this size, I can't just sort of plonk a bunch of like nicest shapes down together and hope for the best so I um I started with the wireframing and I sort of left it there for about a week or so maybe not a week maybe just a couple of days but I left the um the just the general outline of how it would sit within the rest of the area that I'm working on and I tweaked it here and there, um, just so that the scale felt right. And most of the shapes in this build are circles, and I just sort of made them up, I'm gonna be honest. I figured out, like, how big they needed to be by making a cross, and then I just made the rest up. Um, if you have trouble like making circles you can look um, up like templates online but I can't be bothered doing that. And with a project this big it was important for me to not like start it and then just never finish it because I wasn't motivated to just keep building. So I collected about maybe half the materials that I needed for the project before I started or de like definitely over half. But I, I had the majority of material there, but I just had some that I needed to go back and collect, like wood in particular, because you never know when you have enough wood. And um, things like acacia wood I had to go out and find like in the middle of the project, which is really annoying, traveling 4,000 blocks to get acacia, not recommended. Um, but I got it all in the end and it meant that I had things to do that weren't just placing blocks because when you're building like such big shapes just building them up it's really monotonous and you have to be in a specific mood to do that or i find that i do so having um other things to do like gathering resources or just i don't know making a villager farm helped me stay motivated and as you can also probably see i used a lot of a gradient it was quite harsh down the bottom because i started with like basalt and then moved to like acacia and then stone bricks and they're not quite like it wasn't a particularly smooth gradient down the bottom but overall it looks all right and i also added gradients within the other colors that i put in so just so that everything wasn't completely gray because that's a little bit monotonous just just a tad um i added in some white towers and some granite towers just so that it would there'd be some contrast within the build and it would stand out a bit more and you'd be able to differentiate between the shapes because otherwise it would just look like a huge gray blob And I also started to add in details as I went, like adding in nicer roofs and having like just smaller things, doing small things along the way rather than just building everything up and then trying to make it look good, I think um, helped me. Like you can, if you wanted to build something of this scale, you could go with a method of like wireframe it every single bit and then build it all up and then add all of the details but i don't think that would have been um sustainable for me to keep going with the project because i get bored very quickly i also looked up inspiration like as i went along and like specifically for castles i never really like have made a good castle before like i was very confused about how they worked because when I usually build a castle, I build something like this, which is like four towers with like a wall in between each tower. And that's about it. But um, I wanted to make it somewhat accurate and like actually work. So I looked up different pieces of inspiration as I went and each bit that looked slightly off in the build, I redid according to that inspiration. 
and the the inspiration i looked up like castle pictures like just on google yeah looking up inspiration is a really good way to get like instantaneous feedback because you'll look at your build and you'll look at the inspiration and you'll figure out what's what doesn't look right um and what you could add And it really helped me to figure out how to add depth to the build like because it is um, cylindrical and it is like a lot of circles so adding in like indentations on flat surfaces and or well, like flat surfaces in, in minecraft obviously and um the roof shapes I wanted to try a different roof shape so what I did with these was I um I made it sort of like an exponential graph if anyone understands that um it was just I didn't want to make it a constant curve because that doesn't look good with I don't know I'm not a huge fan of constant curves and constant curves are good on like slanted roofs like house roofs but i didn't find that i wanted to do that on the castle roof so i sort of just made it every time i went in a block i went up more and it sort of ended up with what came out and i like it i'm a big fan of it And because like it is a lot of circles that it's difficult to vary like you can't just have like four towers and call it a day um so i i really had to figure out how to tier the build so i had like the the massive like foundation um cylinder i guess and then on top of that i put another quite large cylinder um that was after i built some of the towers on there um because it just didn't look right um so with castles, I found tiering is the way to go. And then at the end, I guess you really can't finish a build, but um, when I felt like I had added enough um, details to the exterior of the build, I stepped back and the one thing that was missing was the environment, so I added in a cliff side and some custom trees and just some nature to it so that it felt like it was part of the environment and didn't just get bonked there. And here's the final build, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe, it helps the channel out and it helps me make more of these.